Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over all the weaknesses for every creature in the Mislins biome. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by G-Portal. They host all of my servers and I have to say they are pretty awesome. You can save 10% with my link in the description. Okay, first up is the Seeker. Now they're going to jump at you and they aren't too tough to fight, but you just want to be ready because they can surprise you and they could knock you off the cliff and you'll end up taking quite a bit of damage depending on how high up you are. Now they are immune to spirit and they are resistant to blunt, slash, and pierce, but they do take normal damage from fire, frost, lightning, and poison. So I'm going to switch to one of my arrows since I don't have a, any other weapon with any of those effects, and I'm going to give them the business. And you can see they die pretty quick. You just want to be ready for it. Okay, so next up is the Seeker Soldier, and it's the big hard-hitting version of the Seeker. And just like the Seeker, it's immune to spirit. It's resistant to blunt, slash, and pierce, but it takes normal damage from fire, frost, lightning, and poison. So, just want to get some stacks going on it, get ready to dodge its attacks. He does hit pretty hard, so you want to be pretty well equipped, rested. Yeah, he takes a little longer to kill, but as long as you're careful, just make sure you don't run out of stamina. And there you go. Okay, next up is the Yawl. That's how you pronounce that. The G is silent and the J sounds like a Y. The Yawl. This thing is really cool looking and you'll find it flying slowly through the air. It's immune to spirit and resistant to fire, but it does take normal damage to blunt, slash, and pierce. Also, frost, lightning, and poison. So I'm going to switch over to frost and give him the business with that. And maybe even throw in the little poison ticks too. Oh, here he comes. Oh, <laughs> Okay, next up is the hare. This scaly little bunny is friendly and doesn't even really mind you being around him. I mean, he will get scared a little bit and try to run off, but as you can see, he's kind of stuck on this platform. He doesn't really have anywhere to go. That can happen to you as well, so they could be easy to catch. Now, they are only immune to spirit and they take normal damage to every other damage type, but they have so few health you can pretty much just give them the business a couple times. Just be careful as they fall down. You don't want to fall with them and end up dying to fall damage or drowning in the water, of course. And if he gives you a bit of a chase, well, you can just get out your bow and hope for a lucky shot. And don't forget to collect your loot as well. While you're wandering around in the Mistlands, you'll find these Dwarger ruins and you'll find Dwarger wandering around inside and around them. Now, they will not attack you unless you upset them and hitting them or any part of their structure will upset them and they can be pretty hard to handle. So when you come inside here, you're going to see that there are some Dwarger rogues here. And they're holding crossbows. Now the Dorga rogues are immune to spirit, but they take normal damage from all other weapon types. So you could pretty much fight them with your weapon of choice. I do recommend that you get them away from the other Dorga though, because getting more than one Dorga upset can really be kind of hard to handle. Now there are three Dwarger mages, one in a red robe, one in a yellow robe, and one in a blue robe. Of course, the blue is for ice, the red is for fire, and the yellow mage is a support mage. Now, he does have an attack spell, but he will also cast a healing spell. And they're immune to spirit, resistant to fire and frost, but they take normal damage to everything else. Now, if you try to attack all three of these at the same time, they're probably going to give you the business. Let's give it a try. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> That's why you really want to get these guys away from each other. And once you find your way into the new dungeons in the Mistlands, you'll meet a few new creatures. One of them is these eggs here. Now, inside these eggs is a creature called the Seeker Brood. They're like the big adults, and they don't have much health, so they're pretty easy to kill. And even though they're resistant to blunt slash and pierce damage, you can pretty much hit them with anything you want because they have such little health, it'll kill them right away. And just getting close to these eggs is enough for them to hatch and start attacking you. Just be careful of them swarming you. Kind of hard to hit the ones that are still on the ground there. So if you have a bow, go ahead and equip that and then just give them the business. And when you're in the new dungeons in the Mistlands, you might run into the ticks here and they don't have much health. So they're pretty easy to kill. You can pretty much hit them with anything, but they are weak to pierce. And once they grab onto you, you can see They'll start uh, taking a little bit of damage. They fall off pretty easily. But I'm in God mode at the moment to demonstrate. And if these things were to gang up on you and you've got some of these big seekers around, it can get pretty dangerous. So if you have a piercing weapon, you can pop them pretty quick. But like I said, you can pretty much hit them with anything. They're going to die pretty quickly. All right, and I'm here in the dungeon for the boss. The boss is called the Queen. That's right, the Mistlands boss is called the Queen, and she is quite terrifying. Check her out up there. So to start with, she is immune to spirit, so leave your spirit weapons at home. She is also resistant to piercing weapons. So you might not want to use just your bow and arrows, However, she does take normal damage from blunt, slash, fire, frost, lightning, and poison. So, you know, you could use your arrows to get your dots on. But, uh, yeah, if you really want to do some nice damage to her, a weapon with blunt, slash, fire, frost, lightning, and poison is going to be your best bets. And I want to take a quick break to share with you my sponsor, Zydax Computers. They can customize a gaming rig just for you like they did for me. They can also do custom laptops. And here they have a lifetime desktop parts warranty. And I actually had to use it myself when my power supply went out and they replaced it with no problem. It's the only one of its kind offered in the industry. Zydax desktop computers come with an unheard of lifetime parts and service guarantee that nobody else can match. That means if your hard drive blows up in 10 years, you're covered. And if you're in the market for a new computer or laptop, you can use my link, jirokthevikingcom slash Zydax. You can also find that link in the description. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters. Some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers. Servers. Links can be found in the description below. Skull! 